everyone this is dr ben with treble health guess what another video about ringing in the ears that's what we focus on here on our youtube channel today's video will be about barometric pressure weather changes and how that affects your tinnitus if you've ever felt that the weather or changes in air pressure can impact your tinnitus this video will give some extra details and information for you there's two main questions we want to answer in this video number one is how does barometric pressure change my perception of tinnitus number two is how about seasonal weather and the winter versus the summer the fall versus the spring how does that impact my tinnitus as well if you're new here to our youtube channel please subscribe like this video if this topic is of interest to you and let's get ahead with first barometric pressure and how that impacts ringing in the ears the pressure system behind the eardrum is very sensitive and changes to air pressure can impact what goes on behind the eardrum. Some common examples of changes to pressure and how that impacts tinnitus would be driving up a mountain and noticing that the changes in pressure are impacting your ears. You might have to pop your ears when you're on a road trip driving up a mountain. Additionally, when you're in an airplane going up in altitude, you also have to equalize and adjust the pressure behind your eardrum relative to the outside air pressure. So does a difference in pressure lead to a difference in tinnitus? Well, sometimes. Certain conditions that are related to the eustachian tube, we're going to put an image on the screen right now, of the eustachian tube. First of all, it's important to note that the function of the eustachian tube is to equalize the pressure behind the eardrum as well as in the outside world. You want both of those pressures to be equal. That's the job of the eustachian tube. If that tube is congested from allergies, inflammation, upper respiratory infection, or other health conditions, then changes to pressure can very well spike your tinnitus because your allergy or your congestion is put under a higher degree of pressure. Sometimes things like seasonal allergies are related to tinnitus spikes as well. And if you're noticing that your allergies are a bit out of control, you might experience an increase in the loudness of your tinnitus. That's pretty common and working with your ENT doctor would be a good decision there because there are medications and other holistic strategies that can be used to help with any allergy or congestion related tinnitus spike. Some extreme cases of barometric pressure and its impact on tinnitus would be related to scuba diving or snorkeling in the water where you go down deep and then your eustachian tube does not equalize in time and there could be an impact on your eardrum like bursting your eardrum and that would create hearing loss potentially tinnitus as well it's another example of how changes in pressure can impact your ears now let's talk about weather related tinnitus from the seasonal perspective that you may notice your tinnitus is worse during certain seasons of the year these more seasonal changes may be related to a few things. First off, there are a lot of more colds going around and allergies in certain seasons of the year. So your tinnitus may spike because of that. The second piece here is that we tend to be more sedentary in the winter. When the days are shorter in the winter, we may be more likely to need coffee in the morning or be watching a lot of TV at night or need alcohol at night and those conditions have been linked to increases in tinnitus. So based on your behaviors in the winter, you may notice a seasonal change in how much your tinnitus bothers you. And because tinnitus is often linked to stress, there is a known relationship of seasonal depression where in the winter months when the days are shorter and it's darker and we're socializing less, that we can go through some challenging mental health conditions. And the tinnitus network is very closely linked to the emotional brain. So stress, anxiety, depression, and tinnitus can all spiral and create louder tinnitus. If you're going through that in the winter months, that does make sense. There are real resources out there available for you. During those winter months, your immune system may be weaker, your health might not be as optimal, and that can also put your body in a more vulnerable state to be affected by tinnitus. What we know is that tinnitus is a very holistic condition, and when we're looking at 
short-term weather changes, how that impacts our ear health, our allergies, our nasal passage. And then we're looking at how these overall seasonal changes affect your coping, your managing, your living with tinnitus. Then we get the full picture here of how weather and barometric pressure can impact tinnitus. Just to zoom out here, what's the important piece to know is that your tinnitus is usually not primarily linked to weather. Certain conditions like Meniere's disease do have a more significant relationship between barometric pressure changes and tinnitus, but for most people with bothersome tinnitus, they do not have Meniere's disease. So for that reason, you can be mindful of weather, you can make sure to have your allergies, congestion, eustachian tube checked out if you have any concerns about that. Otherwise, stay healthy in the winter months. As we're entering the winter months at the time making this video, this is an invitation to keep your exercise up, keep drinking a lot of fluids, keep getting good sleep, don't rely on caffeine, and I'm sure your tinnitus can easily be managed over the next months to come. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson with Treble Health. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment if you have any questions about tinnitus and weather or barometric pressure changes. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching today's video with Treble Health. Check out our next video by clicking the button on this screen or another recommended video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you on the next video.